So if you haven't already used the Ahrefs Rank Tracker, it's pretty simple, straightforward, easy to use, but rather powerful. So let's talk about how to get this set up and utilize it for your own website. Now, if you don't already have an Ahrefs account, it is a paid tool, so you'll need to go set up an account. But once you have your account set, it, set up and you're logged in and everything, you can head over to the Rank Tracker. And when you get here, you can add a new project up in the top left and you can import it from Google Search Console. I like to just add it in manually. And then all you do is add in the domain name that you're going to be tracking and the project name. So we can just do something random here like example.com, make this example project. And then you'll be able to go in and add in your keywords. Uh, first of all, you'll need to verify that you own the domain name. So there's um, different, you can set up a DNS record, an HTML file, etc. Once you've set that up, then you can choose your schedule and then start grabbing some of the domain names, or I mean the keywords that you want to be tracking for this domain. And then you can also add some competitors, but once you have everything set up, you're going to see whatever keywords you're wanting to track here, as well as the position with the position change. So you can see that this website for the term Phoenix SEO has actually gone down one position from 16 to 17, but it's gone up eight positions for Phoenix SEO company. So these are kind of bouncing around right now. That we can also see the search volume for each of these terms which is very important to know how many people are searching each month for a given keyword and then it's also going to give us a prediction of how much traffic we can expect to receive from each of these rankings and all it does is it takes the position that we're ranked in and the search volume and it does a little bit of math to figure out an estimate of how much traffic each of these keywords should be bringing our website and then we have the keyword difficulty. So this is quite nice to be able to see a breakdown of how difficult it's likely to be to rank for these keywords. And then we also have the SERP features. So this is going to show us uh, where we're ranking and the potential rankings for these like Phoenix SEO experts shows um, an ad. We're not actually advertising on that keyword right now, but there are um, ads that show up on that keyword, which is good to know. Um, so you can dig into the different search results page features here. You can use this to see a graph of your ranking changes, which is kind of like this graph here. Although this is just showing us the share of voice. You can click to see the actual search results page here. So we can see who's ranked number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. It's going to show us the URL of the page that's ranking, as well as the location and the date. And then up here we have like breakdowns of everything in graph format. So share of voice, it looks like we had a, a larger share of voice in January and it fell back down. We can also see the average position. So it had increased pretty significantly and then kind of dropped back down again. Same thing with traffic and the SERP pages and the positions. So those will give us helpful breakdowns so we can see kind of what is going on here. Uh, we can also filter some of this out so we can see, you know, different locations, focus on different positions that we want to be targeting or different keyword volumes or I mean search volume. Uh, keyword difficulty, SERP features, and you can also search for different keywords in here as well. So that's the basics of the rank tracker. Now there are some additional pages that you can dig into over here depending on how thing how you have things set up. But that's the the essentials for using the rank tracker on Ahrefs. Now, if there was anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there.
If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.